Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and it is officially 2024 and this is the first time I'm being back into Magic Kingdom for the new year and I wanted to go out and give you guys a little tour, point out some of the things I'm excited for for the upcoming year and then ride a bunch of rides and eat some food and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It seems like it's a quiet day today in the Magic Kingdom. Temperatures are in the 50s and I'm excited. I like a little chilly day at MK. As of January 9th, you don't need to make a park reservation for single day ticket purchases. So you could actually just come to Disney World, buy a ticket and go in without having to make a park reservation. So that's a, an awesome change. And then also park hopping, uh, you can park hop uh, anytime. You don't have to wait till 2 p.m. So if you have the park hopper, you can park hop from Magic Kingdom to Animal Kingdom at 11 a.m. if you wanted to. I'd rather stay here at Magic Kingdom though because we did buy the Genie Plus today. It is just about 1 p.m. and I didn't look to see what the wait times were like. I knew I wanted to buy Genie Plus because I want to ride some rides and I don't want to wait long. So uh, we're going to you know, test it out and see what we can get done using Genie Plus this late in the day. Genie Plus costs $23 today and like I said normally you want to get it super early in the morning and start stacking your lightning lanes but sometimes the plan doesn't go accordingly to plan so uh, we're gonna see what we can get out of it you know being late in the day hopefully we get to ride Big Thunder Mountain or Space Mountain or Tron some of the good rides if I could ride three rides I feel like $23 would be well spent in such a short amount of time I love seeing the Main Street transportation vehicles out and about. I think we're going to make our way back to Fantasyland first. I got a lightning lane for Little Mermaid. There we go. That's the one. It, it's, it's pretty slim pickings right now. But like I said, we keep refreshing. What I mean when I say refresh, when you're in the app and you're looking for lightning lanes, they constantly change. There's new lightning lanes always being added. People are canceling them and then they go back out into like the pool. Uh, so I grabbed uh, Little Mermaid because it's a ride now. So we get to just go walk in and ride. And I'm kind of excited for it because I haven't rode this ride in a while. And then also I want to try to get dinner somewhere, a nice little sit down dinner. Uh, but we'll have to see what's available. I love this kind of day. I'm happy that we did get the lightning lane though because it looks like the line or the standby line is actually outside the queue. But uh, it's time to head on in. Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. I love how I just abbreviate all the rides. Yeah, we're going to ride Little Mermaid. We're going to ride, uh, you know, space. <laughs> I feel like everyone does that. The Little Mermaid was a perfect ride to start out the day with and I love a good dark ride and it was really convenient because uh, it was the only thing that was available that we could ride right at that second and now that we're off the ride we can book another lightning lane uh, but first I think I want to grab a quick bite because most of the reservations at their sit down restaurants aren't till later on so I need a little snack maybe at Gaston's Tavern and then maybe back to more rides. We made our way over to Gaston's Tavern because I want to get a cinnamon roll and a Lafouze brew. A Lafouze brew. 
This cinnamon roll looks extra amazing today. Look at that. It's huge too. Like, look at the back of that cinnamon roll. And of course I got the extra icing, some LaFruz brew, and uh, we're pulled up on a trash can. Doing it Epcot style here at Magic Kingdom. And I like the view. I always eat the center part first. So here we go. There is literally like a pool of icing right in the center of this roll. Look at that. I mean, I'm gonna try to, look at that. You can see it's all, the center of the roll is always the best. I love how a little snack turned into a cinnamon roll the size of my head, but yo, that's pretty good. You gotta ask for extra icing. I love how ooey gooey it was in the center. Uh, but now I think we're gonna stick in Fantasyland, maybe go ride Dumbo or the Barnstormer. These are all rides, like even though you pay the Lightning Lane, uh, it's $23 for Genie Plus. Most of these rides are always available that you could just ride now or within the hour. And they have like 35, 40 minute waits. So even though they're not big top like attractions you're still saving quite a bit of time we gotta pick our dumbo oh i think i want the green one there she is that's our dumbo huh. this sun is gonna make a beautiful ride i can't wait to see all the views when we get up top there oh here we go we're going up Ooh, hiya! Yo, this is so nice out today. Woo! Dumbo was a lot of fun, but we made our way across to Big Top Souvenirs. They've got some new merchandise in here and also some sales going on. Some hot deals, some sales on some snacks or some Disney Eat snacks. Select Disney 100 items are 50% off and you get your annual pass discount on top of that. So I might get some of these uh, fancy little sweatpants here. The Goofy Movie Loungefly is also 50% off. That is actually a really good deal for me, I feel like. Look at this, it's $88. So then this is gonna be, I think somewhere, like it's at least $40. Ooh, I've never owned one. I think this one might be my first one ever. This was like originally uh, $88 and I got it for $37. I mean, I don't even need a lounge fly. I literally just got it for a goofy movie. Now, I'm gonna hang it somewhere like in my house or put it on a shelf. I mean, I'll make good use for it, but I mean, would you buy? Like, you know, I feel like that's a hot buy. Hot buy, good deals. <laughs> Do you need a break from modern living? <laughs> I love <laughs> Honestly, I will listen to the Goofy Movie soundtrack on a road trip any day. It's it's literally it's a classic. Now I think we're going to make our way over to uh It's a Small World cuz we were just able to grab that on the Lightning Lane or on the Genie Plus. It just popped up and uh the time is the ride uh right now. I honestly feel like I've already gotten the $23 well spent. Like we are burning through the rides. Like I think we did three rides in the first hour, going on our fourth ride now. And like I said, these are rides that I would still ride in the park. Like you don't have to go big time, Big Thunder Mountain and stuff like that. I would rather ride like seven dark rides back to back than you know wait two hours, ride a roller coaster, wait another hour, ride another roller coaster. So like you know what I mean? I feel like I've already spent like the $23 wisely. Even It's a Small World is definitely busy. Oh boy, 45 minutes. It's a little congested in this area usually. But we're gonna go in the lightning lane. <laughs> it's a Small World is a great ride to just kind of relax and get out of the crowds for a bit. And it's kind of long too. It's, a, it's a, one of the longer rides at the parks. I don't have any change on me, but I would definitely throw some water down. I mean, I would definitely throw some coins down there if I did. Look at that front row on good old 30. 
There we go. Look at that. Oh, clap. Ah, oh, make a silly face. Clap your hands. Clap hands. Hippo winking at. <laughs> I like that DNA looking turkey. <laughs> it looks like it was from the Jurassic Park movies. Backed up, so it looks like we're gonna be sitting here for a little bit. Look at that. Oh no, and the song doesn't shut off either. <laughs> it's 319 right now. 319. We'll see how long we're backed up for. It's a small world. It's such a ride, like such a long ride, like I said. Uh, but can you imagine just the tail end of it, uh, just being stuck there for six minutes, listening to "It's a Small World After All" like over and over again? Can you imagine if you're stuck in there for like an hour? Like I, I can only imagine. But now I think we're gonna keep moving along. And I also we got uh, dining reservations over at Tony's, so we're gonna go have a little lunch out on the uh, patio area there, the out. out outdoor seating area have a little lunch I'm looking at the soup I really want some Italian wedding soup and let me tell you something Tony's has the best soup in Magic Kingdom the best Sorry, I just didn't want to the crowds today are just super long holy moly we're gonna head down to Tony's now. Uh, I think our reservation was for 345, so we have just about uh, enough time that we can go down and put a request in to sit outside. Wow, it's so beautiful out today. Look at this. Got the bubbles, the sun. I'm all for it. Look at that. And like I mentioned, it's so chilly out. Like it's it's not like super chilly because the sun is still beating down on you, but you have a nice little breeze and uh, it kind of, you know, kind of keeps you nice and cool for the parks. I like it. I only got a couple more days left and then it's back to hot and humid. Hot and humid Florida. Oh, it looks like the Dapper Dans are coming out.
we were making our way down to Tony's and then the Dapper Dan's walked by and they were like, hey, come along with us. So I started walking down, uh, I started walking right down the middle of Main Street USA with the Dapper Dan's and then they continued to sing. I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street USA. Hi, how are you? I did that. <laughs> But now we have made it to Tony's and I'm so excited. I definitely want to get the garlic bread and the soup. It's seasonal soup. I'm hoping it's Italian wedding. And who knows, maybe the, a little chicken parm or spaghetti and meatballs or tiramisu cannoli, all the good stuff. And like I said, we asked to sit outside because it's so nice. You get to sit out here and you get to look out and watch everybody walk into Magic Kingdom. And even when there's a parade, it's a good spot to be. So hopefully Hopefully we'll get it. I got a nice little spot on the uh, outside uh, like porch and uh, the sun's in my eyes but it feels beautiful. I definitely can feel it right about here. Right there. The ambience of just sitting out here, I'm telling you, you can hear the music especially on a quiet day. Like right now you can hear like a little bit of like Oh, and now the bubbles are coming in. Can you make it any better? <laughs> I wanted to be a little fancy today, so I got some Perrier so that uh, I can just sip on something sparkling. Perrier, water captured at the source in France. We are in luck. The Italian wedding soup has arrived. Look at this. This is what I was talking about. The best soup in the Magic Kingdom. There's no better soup in MK, I can tell you that. And then garlic bread too, look at this. And then they give you like Alfredo sauce to dip on it and marinara, but I think I'm gonna just dip a little bit of that in a little bit of this and it should be good to go. Here we go. I love this soup right here. Good soup. I love the texture of this garlic bread because it's crispy enough that even though you're soaking it up with soup, it's still crunchy when you bite into it and it's so amazing. Now I gotta dip the breadstick in there with a the garlic bread. Get a little bit of those noodles on top. Oh. This soup is so good. The meatballs, the noodles, and the broth. I wish they'd give you a bigger portion though because I feel like this is a cup size. I mean, it's not like a bowl and it's only one size and I think it's $14. So, it's a $14 cup of soup. The train's coming into the station. I'm just sitting here listening to it. Drinking some fancy sparkling water. This is pretty amazing. I ended up getting the chicken parm and uh, I got the rigatoni uh, with vodka sauce. This is the pasta side and my chicken parm with no cheese. I don't like the cheese so much, but I'm excited to dive in because it looks good. I love the rigatoni here and I also love hearing the, the train blow its whistle like why, while I eat. I love rigatoni. Tony's was great and I love just sitting outside taking in the ambience and the food's pretty good too. I definitely could have put down another soup. I wish they had all you can eat soup. I would have, I mean, I, I would literally probably sit there for hours. Uh, but now I have to grab a quick uh, little birthday present for a friend of ours. We might have to head out and uh, call it a night after that. But I gotta do a little shopping. One of my good friends is celebrating their birthday, so we all wanted to chip in and get her a nice little uh, tiara, cause she's a, she's a queen princess and uh, everyone likes tiaras, you know? I feel like it's a good present. My friend is Maria from LVV TV or Lake Vilna Visitors. And look at, 
I don't know, I just thought it'd be nice to get her a nice little crown. It was so funny because I was talking to Sean and Kristen and um, you know, we wanted to get her like a nice little birthday gift. And uh, he was like, yeah, he's like, check out the tiaras. And then I was like, okay, I'll do that. And then he was like, hey, maybe pick up a pillow too. So I was just like, well, a pillow? And he's like, yeah, get a pillow. And I'm like, walking through the Emporium, I'm like, do you guys have a pillow section? And I'm like trying to figure out like what to get, like pillow wise. And then I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where that, like, yeah, I don't know what kind of pillow she likes so then I get in there and I'm like I'll take the I'll take this and he's like would you like a pillow and uh, it all came to me I figured out what it was <laughs> so we got the matching pillow to go with it see this has been a great day goofy movie little birthday gifts I like it now it's time to head back and we have to check on Gracie and take her out for a little walk and then later on tonight, we're going to meet up with our friends and we're going to celebrate uh, my friend Maria's birthday. And I, we're probably going to go to Toledo over at Disney's Coronado Resort. It's like our favorite little restaurant to get together for like, you know, birthdays. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I figured we'll bring you along. You got to see little Gracie girl. Maybe give her a cookie or two. Look at that monorail driving off into the sunset. Wow. This is really a beautiful day today. There she is! Gracie girl! The most beautiful dog on earth. Answer the call. What are you taking a little break here, huh? Oh, okay. You want me to scratch your belly? All right. Let me see that belly. Let me see it. Ooh. Gracie, you're so beautiful. Oh, yes. Gracie used to run around the fields with cows. <laughs> Look at this. What? Oh, what? Let's see that smile. Oh, yeah. These toys that have little compartments that you can hide treats in. I love getting them to Gracie because she's like, <laughs> we made it to the Grandestino Tower. Look at this. For Queen Maria. For Queen Can I show Maria. You the card I got for her. Oh yes, please. Most people will just text you happy birthday, but can a text do this? Actually, maybe a text <laughs> can do that. <laughs> I like it. This is nice. And the pillow. The nice little I almost nice got touch. one that said uh, home or cozy on it. <laughs> a home. A home. Okay, <laughs> I, like Nate told you, I had the same thoughts as Nate. Right? So I don't know what Sean was talking about. Hey, get it her a pillow. And I said, well, <laughs> get her a nice little pillow. Now they're like running and they're going to like drop something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Toledo. C1. I love these fancy elevators. You don't have to press buttons afterwards. Just one. Buddy, yeah. So fun. Yeah. We're, I guess we're surprising Maria right now. So Maria doesn't know, but we're waiting to get seated. And she's coming up the elevator probably. And the anticipation. Yeah. It's too much. I don't know if it's going to be a surprise. In the lobby, though, would be nice. Yeah. Oh, you're eating here too? Well, yeah. <laughs> Texting me 10 minutes ago saying, Have you ever eaten at Toledo? What do you like to eat there? Oh like, boy. This is taking me. <laughs> I texted her today to throw her off the scent. I was like, Hey, how's it going? I'll see you Friday. Nice. Cool. Oh, look at this. How fancy. Probably right in the middle. <laughs> this is where she's sitting. Should we, should we put her at the head of the table or in the middle? There's, There's no head of the table. There's Chris and Maria right yeah, here. Chris oh, I guess you're right. This is where she's sitting. Yeah, so she can watch okay. the fireworks right there. All right, the sign. All right, I like it then. We this sounds nice. Okay. This is so nice. I know. <laughs> Our own private menu, kind of. <laughs> Travis, you're on the lookout. <laughs> My battery's dying. Oh! Oh! We waste a good surprise on you! Oh my god, she's coming guys. Everyone look forward. 
Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Are we jumping out? What's the word again? Oprah? No. Oprah? We're just saying surprise. Surprise! Right here. Oh, 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 oh. Oprah! You have to wear your uh, crown. Tiara. Oh my god, I have a tiara. Oh my lord, I've been saying it wrong the whole day. <laughs> I've been saying tiara. Tiara? 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 A tire? There you go. Perfect. And we got you a decorative pillow. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! Happy birthday! I don't know if we have the music. Ready to begin. Let the wonder take hold. This is a halfway reactor expert. I know, he's looking up the time. He's like, I know exactly where we are at. Yep. It's about to get the sinking. Yes, it's a right there. I seen it. It's right there. You know, you know. Look at you, Maria. This is amazing. I have good eyes. I don't know what to see. I got good eyes. Chris is going to find Tinker. I'm going to look. I'm going to look. Red I'm pretty sure he saw a tinker. Oh, uh, it was just a traffic light. She was, she was red low. Why was she wearing a red costume tonight? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maria. Happy birthday to you. And with that, we are done here today. Ah, uh, happy birthday, Maria. I had a lot of fun. It was a great dinner up at Toledo. We literally, I feel like that restaurant is our go-to birthday like restaurant spot. And if you haven't noticed, uh, I feel like my friends, our whole entire friend group, we take birthdays very serious. We, I, I'm lucky to have a great friend group the way that I do because we all love each other. It's really awesome. We all go out. We have special guys nights where like Chris and you know Travis and Sean and me we all go together. We get pedicures. I've, I've showed you guys that in the past. We always get together for birthdays and special occasions and sometimes you know I want to just like go out and do them but today I, I really want to just bring it in and add it into the video even though it wasn't Magic Kingdom related but Speaking of Magic Kingdom, it was super busy there today. Uh, I walked in there with like they, this, this idea like, oh, you know what? Let's just go to Magic Kingdom and, you know, have a wonderful start to 2024. And I just got met with crowds and long lines. But honestly, I still had a lot of fun, especially as long as you can keep yourself moving. Like, I feel like a lot of people, they get up to like you know rides and they're like oh 20 minutes that's too long i don't want to weigh in that so then you walk to another attraction that's like a 20 minute wait or like a 10 minute wait and then you get there and you're like oh no that's too long too and then eventually you just end up sitting down in the country bear jamboree or in the enchanted tiki room you know what i mean um, those rides are great and actually 2024 we've got to be on the lookout because country bear jamboree is getting new songs it's getting a redo i'm not sure the dates i'll have to look it up but it's happening this year uh, uh, and I'm excited. I got a little teaser of the actual music that they're putting together and I like it a lot. Like when they were doing the Bear Necessities, it was, I was like, oh, this is going to be good. And I'm a big Country Bear fan. I mean, I love the music. I love uh, Big Al. Uh, so I'm excited to see what they do with it. And I feel like they're going to actually, I feel like they're definitely under the close eye of like Disney fans or Disney Parks fans. So I feel like they know that there's a lot of pressure on this one, so they gotta come through. Um, but yeah, lots to look forward to in 2024.
2024. It's going to be so much fun, lots of traveling. Uh, I know I didn't post a video for the couple days only because I just got back from New Orleans. New Orleans. Uh, if you want to see a video of that, I put it on the Roosevelt's channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of social media, like I'll, I'll be posting videos on their YouTube and stuff like that, only because. You know, we're, we're a great group of friends and I kind of have this great idea and vision of just seeing the world and, like, I don't know, documenting it and bringing it all to you guys. So it's great that I get to do it with Roosevelt's. And, uh, yeah. Anywho's. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. If you do want to see the New Orleans video, it's up on the Roosevelt's channel. Just type in RSVLTS. Uh, short, abbreviated, <laughs> uh, and you'll be able to actually see uh, the whole video from New Orleans. And uh, I guess for this video, uh, I think we are done here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!